the first thing you want to do is take take the plate off of your motor. Now, look and see which hole that this is aligned up to where it's straight up and down. If you look right here, I'm going to take the cable out. If you look right here, the farthest hole from the center, you want to go three in. That's where it should be set for the Street Beast car so the sweep of the blades will be at the stopping point that you want. So to have it work properly, what you want to do is make sure that it's on the third hole from the big hole, the farthest hole away from the center, measure three holes in, and that's where you want it. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to leave our cable out of the car, out of the motor, and we're just going to set that aside. I'm going to go ahead and put the plate back on the backing of it, and I'm only going to put two bolts on it, because now what we're going to do is we're going to mock up our aluminum tube lines for our cable to run through. Okay, the first thing you want to do, once you take your cable out and you get the wheel lined up where it's supposed to be, you want to go ahead and I put, if you notice, I put one bolt on there. There's a notch in each one of these holes. And what we're going to do, we're just going to loosely let it hang right there like that by one bolt. Because we're going to have to take it off. Go ahead and loosen the bolts on this. You don't have to take this off, okay? We just want it so we can slide it in there and clamp it all together. Now, this is kind of the tricky part. And what we got to do, we got to bend this tubing, okay? We got to start in here, and we got to bend it around where it ends up right there. So, I have a pipe bender, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pipe bender to bend these. You can also do it by hand with a pair of pliers, but let's see what a pipe bender will do for us. Okay, we're just going to go nice and easy, and we're going to take our time, just like so. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure that the cable, if you notice, I'm trying to make a nice curve, okay, and I'm coming down far enough, and it looks like it's going to come around. Can you see that? So once you get your first bend that you like, okay, you go ahead and stick it on here, just like if you were going to put it on the car, and then you want to mark it, because see, we got to come like this and come back around. So I'm going to mark it right here. Okay, I'm going to mark it right here, and I'm going to point an arrow where I need to, to bend it. Alright, if you notice, I, put, I marked it and I put an arrow there. And I'm going to take my bender, and once again, you can use the pliers down here if you want, or bend it by hand, as long as you take your time and get it done right. So we go ahead and put our pipe in, and once again, just make short bends. Don't bend it a lot. You don't want to make sharp bends in it because if you do your cable bind up and your wipers won't work. All I'm going to do now is take my hand and just do a little twist to it because it's got to line up. It's got to line up in there like it's, it's got to line up where it comes straight out here and comes around. This one here is actually the most trickiest one to make to get it done. Now it looks like that's going to line up. So the next thing we do is we're going to take our marker and I'm looking at it right here. It looks like it's going to line up and I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to mark it right here. Then we go ahead and cut this off. And this does not need a double flare. All you need is a single flare on it just to hook up in there. If you can get past this stage right here, you pretty much got it made. We're going to go ahead and flare that out. And all you need is a single flare. You don't need to double flare it. But it needs to be flared out enough where it catches in there. And you want to flare out your other side the same way you did the first side. And you don't have to flare it out real big. Just flare it out where it has a crown on it, flat side. Take it off, like so. And if you can get past making this piece right here, it'll be all right. So this piece is going to go in here, this piece is going to come up here, 
and I see I have to, basically what we're looking at. And I, what I'll do is I'll take this off right here, okay? And this one is actually going to go down inside there, okay? And it's going to hook right here, all right? And it's all going to go together. Now, the rest of the tubing is one tube from here to here, and then you're going to want one about four inches long on that end. Okay, so I've greased it up, and now what I'm doing, I put the cable through, I'm going to go ahead and mount my housing back in. If you look right here, you'll see that there's a notch cut out. That is where your flared end is going to fit in the groove. Okay, so we fit that in there just like that. We get our housing in, and don't forget that this housing has to ride up this shaft. Always make sure that you leave enough flat area before you start bending it that this shaft will go back and forth. I'd say approximately two inches at least. Two to three inches if possible. Once again I really don't like these systems for street beast cars. They're kind of uh, in the way and they're hard to install. If you really want to go the easy way please go with a mighty wiper system. One wiper. You don't really need two wipers. But I am making this video for everybody that you know wants to have these and if you like them hey that's great you know they do work good they're nice systems but just from past experience they're you know really a pain in the butt so you lock this Close, down. you'll see the flare and ends up in this hole go ahead and put all your washers back together once you got it installed and your bolts cut your cable to length you want to go ahead and feed it in your tube, like so. Just keep feeding it in there. And it'll go in. We're almost there. Then you want to go ahead and fit your tubing in there and put your motor on at the same time. And this is where the job gets little bit tricky right there. Now I can tighten all this up. If I can find my ratchet. Okay. So this is our wiper system. I got to install the uh, electric wiring. If you notice I've already started wiring the car on this. I'm almost done. That was a big job putting this in. There's your dual wiper system installed. I gotta hook the power up. It's gonna have three speeds on it. And that's just one type of wiper system you can use. That's the most complicated one to install in your car. I still recommend that you use the Mighty Wiper System. You can purchase that at any hot rod store. Uh, go through your hot rod magazines, you'll find it. That's a one speed wiper motor. That's an exhausting uh, job. I hope that's helped you out, and keep your eye out for all the upcoming videos on how to build your street beast car, because uh, we're going to build it until we can get it done. That's our goal here, get her done. One more thing, what I just did to this street beast, 33 street beast Vicky, applies to the Cabriolet and the 34 Coupe. It also applies to the Cobra if you want to put wipers so such as these. This is Pete, Southwest Rod and Custom. You can reach me, you can see what's going on at Southwest at uh, www.southwestrodandcustom.com or you can contact me, Pete, at 972-420. <laughs>